Welcome to the Experience Annex podcast, episode three. The title of this episode is Seven Signs You Are Not Ready for Online Business Success. In this podcast, we talk about why you should be curious, paranoid, believe in social media, adopt a production mindset, remove the toga of experts, focus on the positives, and stay hungry. Those who are not ready for online success do the opposite. Life is full of experiences and it's good. You learn from the experience of others. And Paul Luduk, the creator of BWC Squared, BWU Squared, Book Writing Clinic and Book Writers Club, where I show friends like you how to convert ideas into intellectual property and other products. I'm also the creator of IBMC, where I show aspiring internet entrepreneurs how to succeed online at scale. I'm also the creator of OCNA, Online Course Creators Community for newbies and advanced beginners, with over 12,500 members from all over the world. What is called .com or internet business started going mainstream in the early 1990s. And between 1995 and 2000, internet stores were selling at multiples of their book values, according to uh, documented experts. Most of, the dot, most of the dot .com companies had nothing tangible to justify their what I call the Mount Everest high prices. It didn't take long before the market started correcting itself. And by October 4th, 20, I mean 2002, the NASDAQ index had crashed by over 76% to 1,139 0 from a peak of 5,084.62, recorded on March 10, 2000. Since the bust, the, since the bust, the dot-com business had separated the men from the boys with valuable lessons learned. Many of the boys went back home to their parents to lick their wounds, while the men started searching for keys to online business success. As a matter of fact, no one key to online business success was found as internet, as we know it, was a brand new territory. So it became a matter of trial and error to find what really worked. In 2012, Rich Stephen, a business online business strategist, released his much acclaimed internet business manifesto in which he advised dot-com companies or dot-com entrepreneurs to approach every aspect of online business from list building to product development and sales strategically rather than tactically. He particularly noted that technology is an enabler and the whole focus should be on developing structures and building relationships rather than looking for tactical advantages like outsmarting the algorithms. Since the dot-com crash, many online entrepreneurs have figured out what works and what doesn't. And the internet is producing millionaires in record numbers in assorted niches and sub-niches. One of such millionaires is Russell, Russell Bronson, the author of three best-selling books, dot-com secrets, expert secrets, and traffic secrets. These books are the de definitive guides on what works online. If only to note in passing, as at 2020, when he wrote that book, Russell Bronson's net worth was estimated at $41 million, a figure he built over 15 years. Today, he's worth over $51 million. Scott Cunningham of Social Lights not long ago pointed out that online entrepreneurs pass through or go through three phases. The crawl phase, the work phase, and the work 
the run phase. In the crawl phase, you are making less than 10,000 per annum. In the work phase, you are making between 100,000 to $1 million. And the run phase, when you are making over $1 million. It is at the crawl phase you need the most learning. For those of us in the crawl phase, it's important to note that just like anything in life, online business has, has its own guiding principles. Those who succeed in a big way follow these principles. The opposite is also true for those who fail. As Russell Bronson and other internet business experts would readily advise, do what works. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Here are seven signs. The seven signs you are not ready for online business success. Not in any particular order. They include, you are not curious. Indeed, more often than not, you are skeptical that people like you are building successful online businesses and making money. Number two, you are not paranoid. Indeed, you believe online business is a passing fad and will soon go away. And the Grove, the co-founder of Intel, once said, only the paranoid survive. The internet is not likely to go away <laughs> soon. It is here to stay. Number three, you believe social media is a distraction. If you use social media at all, you use it for social aspects. Social media like Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube are business tools if you know how to use them. So learn how to use them. Number three, you lack the production mindset. You rather consume. And if you produce at all, you are inconsistent to succeed online. Especially if you are selling digital products, you must be a prolific producer and you must be consistent. Number four or number five, you wear the toga of experts, always asking, what can anybody teach me? As Steve Jobs once said in his Stanford's 2005 commencement speech or address, stay hungry, stay foolish. Number six, you focus on the negatives, fraud, complexity, and the technicalities, etc. Thus, convincing yourself that it's not for me or it's not for you. The internet has its dark side. It also has its bright side. Embrace the bright side. And finally, you live a satisfied life, believing you are already successful. Why bother? This is the attitude of high corporate earners. That's what I'm asking you. Why not invest and learn now that you are learning, earning very high because sooner or later, you will retire. If you exhibit three or more of the signs I have listed above, you lack curiosity, you are not paranoid about the internet, you hate social media, or only use it for, for to play, you rather consume, rather produce, or rather produce, you consider yourself an expert who knows it all. You only see the dark side of the internet and you are too satisfied to bother, the simple interpretation is that you lack online business success mindset. The signs simply say you are not ready for online business success. I define online business success as someone who makes a minimum of $10,000 monthly recurring revenue and scaling and investing massively to move from the crawl to the work stage. My simple advice to you is this. Get off the couch. Put on your running shoes and start looking for online business influencers, teachers, and coaches to learn how you too can succeed online. Ask me how you can reinvent yourself. 
and become one of the stellar online business successes tomorrow. That's why you need to do. I mean, this is what you need to do. Read one of my blog posts per day for the next 30 days at poludu.com and ensure you send your email address to me so I, to get my latest podcasts and YouTube videos direct to your inbox. These are the seven signs you are on track to succeed online. You have invested in IBM's Internet Business Mastery course, which I teach students, my students, more than 300 of them, 400 of them, or 500 of them that course I have, have lost count. You know what it takes to succeed online. Consistency. You know that strategy trumps over tactic. You know to succeed, you must produce. Here are the seven signs you are on track to succeed online, not also in any particular order. Number one, you are drawn, you have drawn up your avatar, your customer avatar. So you are quite clear who you want to serve. Number two, you are building your dream 100 online influencers list and reaching out to them, reaching out to Paul Luduk. Number three, you have chosen the three social media platforms you wish to concentrate your effort on and posting consistently. Number four, in the past 72 hours, you've done something to boost your credibility and gravitas. Number five, you are working quietly and with full concentration on your what is called the lead magnet, landing page, and entry-level products. Number six, you are learning to craft your sales letters or pitch with great hook story, and offer. Number seven, you are learning how to create irresistible offers with offer stacks and other bumps and trying them out with your current list. If you are doing any three of the above, you are on track to succeed. If you are not, retrace your steps, narrow your focus, and concentrate on the few things that will bring you success in the shortest possible time. Share your challenges on our Facebook group, our WhatsApp group, that's IBMC Facebook and WhatsApp group. I'm sure a member of that group will be able to help you out. Also share your challenges on OCNA, Online Course Creators Group, for newbies and advanced beginners. Learn day and night. I'm learning too. Learning how to do videos and learning how to do podcasts. Meanwhile, don't beat up yourself. Don't be discouraged. Success will come. Just keep learning and producing. What I know today, I just know yesterday. You just keep learning and suddenly you reach a tipping point and everything starts falling into place. If you do the seven signs that you cannot succeed online will not apply to you. Until I come your way again, stay focused, stay productive, and stay tuned. Until the next episode, bye for now.